Hello, War Eagles. Gosh, we miss you. Those hallways are so, so quiet. Nobody's in the lunchroom, and I'm there all by myself, and I really miss you. I wanted to take just a few minutes to share some updates with you this Friday. First, I wanted to talk about grades. I've had lots of questions from students about grades, so I want to clear up some confusion. You should still be working, number one. There is time to bring your grade up. There will be no new assignments after May 7th, but before May 7th, I want you working, working, working. Even after May 7th, there will still be time for you to turn in missing assignments. Your teachers will be working with you one-on-one -on -one to get your grades up. So we will be working until the end of the school year. So I wanted you to hear it from me. Keep going. You know our motto, character, courage, and commitment. So commitment means that you're committed to do your best, even in these unusual circumstances that we're finding ourselves in. So May 7th, no new assignments after that date, but we want you to keep working until then and really after then, one-on-one -on -one with your teachers to make sure that your grade is as you would want it, your very best. The next update I want to share with you is in regards to personal item pickups. We have been cleaning out lockers. Wow, some of you should have already been cleaning out those lockers. They are full of stuff, junk, a lot of it. But we've cleaned it all out. We have it all organized into bags with your names on them. So we're going to give those out according to these schedules. All seniors will come on May 8th. We will give you your cap and gown. The time that you need to come is any time between 2 and 5. It doesn't matter. We're not doing it by alphabet or by advisement. You just come any time between 2 and 5. We'll have signage up about where you go and where you will drop off your things and where you will pick up your things, including your cap and gown. Likewise, underclassmen, 11th graders, you will come on May 13th, 10th graders, May 12th, 9th graders, May 11th, and those times are 2 to 5, just like seniors. When you come, again, you'll look for the signage. We'll have everything marked clearly where you're going to pick up things and drop things off. When you're dropping things off, I need your help. Your Chromebook, when you come, keep that separate because we're going to click that back in. We're going to check that back in through the media center so that you have rec we have record of who turned those in. So make sure that you have that out with the charger that you got. That will be a separate drop-off. We'll have a drop-off for media items. That would be calculators, books, anything that you have checked out from the media center. That will be in a, an additional drop-off. And then finally, any other thing that you might have that we need to pick up, we'll have a final drop off for that. And then the last thing you'll do is pick up anything that we have to give you really stuff from your lockers and we'll have that organized again. You don't have to come by alphabet. You don't have to come by advisement, just any time between two and five. When you come, we ask that you stay in the car and follow the directions that we give you. We will do curbside. We'll, curbside pickup, curbside distribution, we'll make sure that everybody is safe. If you have a mask, we ask that you wear a mask. We'll have masks on. We want to make sure that our health is our number one priority, both of our War Eagles that are picking up and of your War Eagle staff who are going to be assisting with distributing information that day. I will go over this again. We'll post this on social media just so you have the dates. Let me go over those one more time. Seniors, you're first. We want to get your caps and gowns. That's May 8th. 9th grade, May 11th, 10th grade, May 12th, 11th grade, May 13th. The times are the same, 2 to 5. And then we'll have a makeup day on May 14th for anybody who might have missed their grade level date. The next thing I want to talk to you about is graduation. Our graduation plan for this year is unfolding each day. The only thing that is for sure about the graduation plan is the date. The date for the graduation plan will be May 21st. That is a Thursday. We asked for that date because that was our original date, and we asked the Board of Education to approve that we be allowed to continue with our original date. So I know for sure that it'll be May 21st, 
And then I know that in July, we're going to get together again, pending CDC approval and guidelines, and get all of us together in July, the whole senior class at one time to celebrate you all and honor your accomplishment then. Graduation plans hopefully will be in place by next week. I have a group of seniors that we're gonna have a Zoom meeting this Friday, and we're going to talk about ideas that you all as students have about how to make this graduation celebration special, considering the restrictions that we are under currently. Also seniors, all seniors will be getting a survey via Remind. I want your input. So we're gonna take the input of this senior panel along with the survey results and try to put together the most special celebration that we can to be held on May 21st. I'm hoping this time next week that I can give you the exact details. So stay tuned for exciting news about our May 21st graduation. Finally, We Care Friday. That is today, a We Care Friday. Next week, guys, is Teacher Appreciation Week, and so I need your help. Typically, I give teachers something every single day of that week to honor all the work that they do for you all in education. Unfortunately, they're not going to be there, as you know, so I can't do face-to-face -face things like I typically would, so I need you. Quite frankly, they would rather hear from you than me anyway. So t this is what I need you to do, students. I need you to think of all the teachers that have impacted your life. That can be from elementary all the way up to now. And I want you to take time to honor them. You can do a quick video. You can do a note. You can do an email. Anything that you can do. You can write a remind message. I'm asking every single War Eagle to commit to doing that to at least one teacher that you've had in your career one administrator, one counselor, a parapro, lunchroom, janitor, it doesn't matter, front office staff, any educational personnel that has impacted your life, I'm asking that you commit to at least one letter, one note, one email, one something, some type of communication that you can honor them. I promise, guys, any letters that we get from you, that is better than any paycheck that we've ever gotten. I keep all my letters on the back of my door so that I can read those, especially in days like today, day, t times like this, where we, we go into education because of you. We miss you. We want to see you. Those letters, I promise, will go a long way in building the morale of your teachers. So please take time, every single one of you. Take time to write a letter to a staff member that has helped you get to where you are. If you go on to the Padlet, Ms. Hamilton, our counselor for 9th and 10th grades, made a Padlet. If you go on to that Padlet, you can post there. You can post a shout out to a teacher. You can post your video there. Each week that we've had different things that we've been trying to do on our We Care Fridays are posted there. Miss Gibson's been cooking yummy cakes. There's been teachers that are gardening. I think some students have learned to cross stitch and play some instruments and you've put those pictures up there. Let me encourage you, go to that Padlet. It gives us a chance to get a view into what you're doing and connect us with you all. So again, teacher appreciation next week. Each of you, I'm committing to doing the same thing to educators that have impacted my life and I'm asking you to do the same. Anytime that week, or that Friday, if you want to wait till that Friday, write a letter to an educator that has helped you get to where you are. That's all I have for this week, War Eagles. I just want to end the way I started. We miss you. You're missed, you're loved. Remember at the beginning of the year, we talked about our theme. Our theme this year was I'm possible, impossible, I'm possible. Even the very word impossible is spelled I'm possible. What are you possible of doing in these times? Some of the greatest inventions occurred when we were in quarantine. I know how smart you are. I know what you can do when you display your character, courage, and commitment. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do because you're possible. See you all soon. All right, good afternoon. Good to see everybody, Gwyneth and, and uh, Hunter. So glad to see you too. Uh, we have a special announcement that we'd like to share with you guys today. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get to have our yearbook day this year uh, because of the virus, but we wanted to celebrate you two and along with you two. Gwyneth and Hunter, you are Mr. and Mrs. CHS. For Woo! 
Yeah. <laughs> Gwyneth is a shining star at CHS. Her competitive spirit, compassionate heart, and cheerful smiles are all traits that her coaches, teachers, and peers have seen in her since day one at Chester T High School. There's no doubt that she will continue to be a successful young lady in any area of her future endeavors. Go War Eagles. Proud of you, Gwyneth. Gwyneth has earned the respect of her team through her hard work and training and her mentoring of younger swimmers. We'll miss her, but her legacy will live on. Gwyneth is not just an amazing athlete. She is also a role model to the rest of the swim team. Throughout the season, she's taken time from her own training to mentor our younger athletes. She's an irreplaceable member of the team and will be sorely missed. But we hope to see her excel at the college level as she transitions from a, war, a Chester T. War Eagle to a Piedmont Lion. Congrats, G. Uh, my quote was, Gwyneth is a light who shines so bright. Her fun, smoky personality brings out the good in, in everyone she encounters, and her heart is absolutely pure gold. Thanks, Coach Keely. <laughs> <laughs> and nothing could be more true about, uh, about you, Gwyneth, and we're so proud of you and thankful for you. Thank you so much. This means a lot. All right, Hunter. How about that? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now we get to brag on you a little bit, Mr. CHS, Hunter Chambers. Uh, this is from me. Hunter has been a War Eagle since day one. He is a great example of all three of the Chester T High School core values of character, courage, and commitment. His leadership in our athletic programs, as well as in the building, encourages others to follow the standard he has set. Go War Eagles, Mr. CHS Hunter Chambers. Mr. Ard? Congratulations, Hunter. This is what I wrote. Hunter Chambers exemplifies the War Eagle way. He is always respectful to everyone he meets, including adults and peers. I am proud that Hunter is a War Eagle, and I look forward to seeing all that he accomplishes in his bright future. Coach Conlon? I, too, said Hunter exhibits all three characteristics of the War Eagle way. Uh, he has high character, he's a high-character individual who is committed to football as well as other sports that he participates in. His courage stands out to me. Uh, his willingness to prepare without knowing the outcome is one of his strongest uh, traits. Congrats. Hunter, here's what your mom had to say. Not sure what I, what I will do without you here at CHS with me, but it's time for you to spread your wings. I'm beyond proud of you and good luck at New Mexico Military Institute. I can't wait to watch you on the field. Mom, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Congratulations, Gwyneth. Congratulations, Hunter. You two are uh, shining examples of what it means to be a War Eagle, and we're so thankful for each of you. Uh, and you will always be a War Eagle. You will continue to be War Eagles no matter where you are, uh, in college or in the workforce or whatever you, you undertake to do. And you're always welcome. Here you will go down in history. You're in the yearbook as Mr. and Miss HS at Chester T High School. Our student of the week this week is Jaden Clark. Jaden Clark is a candle in the dark, an eternal spark of light whose commitment to excellence, passion for learning, and wonderful sense of humor have forever endeared him to me. Jaden has done an amazing job at school from home. Every week he turns in great work and has maintained a cheerful attitude about our new way of doing things. I am so proud of him. Also, he made drum major and youth leadership hall. Our Teacher of the Week is Ashley Walden. Ashley has continued to encourage students and faculty to read during our digital learning days. She creates flip grids for us to share our readings, favorite characters, and to just see another face. The other day, I sent her an email that said, I am desperate for more books, and she gladly pulled some and put them in my box for me. She also has open Zoom hours and is quick to respond to any request. I really appreciate Ashley. Ashley has been indispensable during this school from home time. I can't tell you how many questions she has answered for me, regardless of how large or small. She is happy to jump online with teachers to walk them through each step 
and to do so with grace and patience for those of us whose technological skills are in the developing stage. If she doesn't know the answer to a question, big or small, she finds it. Most importantly, she does whatever tasks are before her, and she does so without fanfare or drawing attention to herself. I just think she is a wonderful all-around asset to our school community. Our many thanks to Ashley for quietly coordinating so much of what makes our school from home possible. She is a bright star in our faculty with kind words and thoughtful approaches to everything she does. Our department has yet to have a moment where Ashley cannot support us because she is always present and always mindful of our needs as we work with students. I am so thankful that she is part of our faculty. Ashley has inspired our students not only to read, but to also encourage others to read with the War Eagle Nation Reads Flipgrids. Ashley has been extremely helpful with technological glitches that I have had along the way with my students and with my own software and accessories. She is always willing to share her knowledge of books and technology to heighten the interests of our students. Hey CHS, it's Ms. Lambeth and Ms. Hamilton again. Next week is Teacher Appreciation Week, so this week's We Care Challenge is all about our teachers. We'd love for you to post something special about a teacher who has done who has meant a lot to you. And that could be a teacher from kindergarten all the way up to current year. Yes, thank you, Ms. Lambeth. Y'all, let's show these teachers love. They have been working hard for us um, since transitioning, especially since transitioning to school from home. And we wanna make sure that they know how much they're appreciated. So once you have made your video or you've written a letter, post the picture to any social media using the hashtag War Eagles Care or and or um, put it up on our Padlet again. Let's keep that feed going. We got a lot of really awesome feedback last week uh, and we want to keep seeing what War Eagles are doing out there in our community. So thanks for all you do and we can't wait to see uh, see all the appreciation this week. Have a good day. Hey everybody we're here with student support staff just to say thank you to our teachers. We've been getting lists of thank you notes and the comments on what teachers are doing and there are just too many to go around. So we want to come on and say thank you. We appreciate you working from home, keeping this school going. Uh, education is all about learning and we thank you. Hi, War Eagle family. This is Mr. Walker. We are out here at El Campesino Restaurant right at the intersection of Highway 53 and Georgia 400 out toward Dawsonville on Dawsonville Highway, only about 15 minutes from Chester T High School. And we are here at El Campesino, number one, because this is a wonderful restaurant with delicious food, and number two, so we can tell you a story about how Chester T High School and El Campesino restaurant and several of our local families have been partnering together to get food to families that could use a little extra food these days. So come on inside and we'll meet Carlos and see how the restaurant is. Hey, how are you guys? Welcome to Campesino. I'm Yolanda. Would you guys like to come in? Of course. Hi, Yolanda. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hola, ¿cómo están? Estamos muy bien. Buenas tardes. Buenas ¿Usted? tardes. Bien, bien, bien. Entonces, usted es Carlos. Yo soy Carlos Arellano, sí. Sí, y usted trabaja aquí con Yolanda y con otra buena gente. Así es, somos un equipo. Nos Excelente. Estamos trabajando aquí. Y cuéntenos sobre el restaurante. Bueno, el restaurante es un restaurante que se forjó hace 19 años, que hemos venido trabajando un restaurante familiar y que pues es lo que nos gusta hacer todo el tiempo trabajar en el restaurante. Excelente, me parece un restaurante muy lindo, un lugar muy bueno para comer, para sí. disfrutar con la familia. Sí, 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 es muy amigos. cómodo, es muy cómodo, sí. Excelente, y cuéntenos un poquito sobre este proyecto con Chesterty y con las familias de Chesterty. Bueno, este proyecto se hizo a base de, del problema que se está presentando ahorita, que nosotros de alguna manera podemos colaborar con algo, ¿verdad? Que estamos contentos de hacerlo porque pues nosotros lo que hacemos es comida, entonces si nosotros podemos aportar un poco a ese problema, pues con gusto lo hacemos. Pues muchísimas gracias por su generosidad y por su apoyo a nuestra comunidad, porque es una de ustedes y nosotros igual. Muchísimas gracias. Sí, a la orden y estamos para servirles. Y ustedes siempre serán parte de la familia de Chester T. Es lo que queremos hacer nosotros también.
Gracias. De nada, a la orden. Hi, I'm Yolanda Leon. I'm a senior at Chesty High School, and currently I'm here working with my dad at the restaurant. We are doing carryout orders, and we're letting less than 10 people dine in at a time. If you guys want to come and enjoy a family meal, and if I know you, I could give you a little discount. Just come and support us, and we'll support you and your family. Vamos, Aguilas de Guerra!